Welcome back trainers. So quick video here. Lucky Pokemon have been introduced into Pokemon Go. The longer they have stayed in your storage, the higher chance they have to become a lucky Pokemon, which will require less Stardust to power up. So let's go ahead and read this. Trainers, Professor Willow has made an important new discovery about Pokemon. His findings suggest that Pokemon can take on a new trait when they are traded. The trait's origin is a mystery. You can experience it soon in Pokemon Go. And when I say when they say soon, I would assume they mean as soon as you trade and receive one. According to his research, there is a chance that Pokemon, when traded, can become sparkly lucky Pokemon. It seems that lucky Pokemon require less Stardust to power up, which means they can reach a higher CP much faster than other Pokemon. I would assume they're just stating that it's going to take less Stardust, but therefore you're going to be able to power it up quicker. Plus, a lucky Pokemon can be detected by the Pokedex so you can keep track of them. So this is exciting, guys. Um, basically, your old Pokemon. The older they are, <laughs> the higher chance they are to become lucky Pokemon. The longer the Pokemon spends inside a trainer's Pokemon storage, the higher chance of them becoming a lucky Pokemon when they are traded. Whether or not being in a storage causes Pokemon to become lucky, Pokemon remains a mystery. Well, okay, they kind of just stated that. But be sure to stay posted for more results from Professor Willow's research. Very exciting. With the Pokemon discovery of lucky Pokemon, gifts also include special new surprises. Trainers who send gifts to friends now receive XP from doing so, and gifts also have a chance of containing Stardust. This is such good news. It's time to begin the journey with Lucky Pokemon. Share a photo with your friend and Lucky Pokemon. So get out there and start trading, folks. It's going down. Lucky Pokemon have arrived into Pokemon Go. And if you don't know by now, I'll put up some images or already had some on the side here as to what they are. So I'm extremely excited about this, guys. This is some really good news. So I have to get out there and trade. Now I'm going to show you a few Pokemon that might help you out in your journey to get a lucky Pokemon. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at my Pokemon here. I'm going to go to uh, recent. So these are going to be my newest ones and then I'm going to go down to my oldest. So the oldest ones down here are the ones that are going to have a high chance of becoming lucky Pokemon because the longer they're in their storage. I mean, let's look at these here. This has been, I mean, in my storage for two years. All right, so the older they are, the higher chance they have of becoming a lucky Pokemon. Now, I'm not saying that the newer ones can't. It's just stated, though, the older they are, the longer they've been in their, your storage, the higher chance of becoming a lucky Pokemon. So this is quite exciting. I'm going to get out there and trade and see if I can get a lucky Pokemon today. Not just one, but two or three or four, maybe. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Now, I wouldn't trade off your hundred old, old hundreds because just wait. It's up to you to trade whatever you want. But for me, um, I'm going to have to decide upon doing this, whoever I'm trading with, what they want. Because a lot of my old Pokemon here are extremely valuable. Now, I know that we're going to get the whole, you know, less Stardust to power up. But there's no way I would trade my Knight. There's no way I would trade my Legacy. Um, I would trade this one if somebody wanted to trade me another Gengar with a Legacy Shadow Claw or something. Uh, but you can see where I'm going with this. So I would trade my Vaporeon right here for sure. My Dodrio, um, not Blaze, my Blaziken, or <laughs> my Flareon. That's a 100. Um, I might trade a few others. So yeah, you, you get the idea. Um, these are very valuable, my older ones. And I would assume that yours are too. So you're going to have to make that decision whether or not you would want to trade them uh, to give a lucky Pokemon to somebody else. And it's going to be, I think it's going to be neutral there somebody else is going to have to also give you an older pokemon to have a higher chance as well it's not just going to be one person gives an older pokemon and both of you have a good chance i think it's the specific one so you give so let's say this is, this is not going to happen but let's say i trade my knight let's see when i caught this literally um a month after i started playing well not a couple days after but you have uh, a very good chance if i trade this to somebody that it's going to be uh, become a you know lucky Pokemon but 
the thing is it's already maxed out so <laughs> they're not going to really benefit from the whole power up thing but at the end of the day they'll still have a cool lucky pokemon so trainers are you excited because i'm extremely extremely excited this is some really good news hopefully you can get out there and make some lucky trades happen so with that said i want to say thank you for watching i'll be bringing you some more news later when i get my lucky pokemon take care